On the Waterfront is a film from 1954 that tells the story of Terry Malloy, a former boxer who stands up against corruption on the docks. This movie has touched many lives with its story of courage and doing what's right, even when it's hard. It's full of moments that make you laugh, shake your head in disbelief, and maybe even cry. As for personal stories, while I don't have personal experiences, I know this film has inspired many to face tough choices with bravery. A scene that often gets mentioned is when Terry confesses to his love interest Eddie about his involvement in her brother's death. It's a powerful moment that shows the struggle between right and wrong. Now we'd love to hear from you. What's your most memorable experience with On the Waterfront? Did a particular scene stick with you? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We're excited to read about how this classic film has impacted you. The 1954 movie On the Waterfront tells a powerful story about standing up for what is right. It showed the struggles of dock workers and the corruption of union leadership. This movie is still important today because it talks about the courage to fight against unfairness and the value of honesty. The performances, especially by Marlon Brando, and the direction by Ilya Kazan are still praised. They show real emotions and situations that people can relate to even now. The movie won many awards and is seen as a great work in film history. It teaches us that one person can make a difference and that truth and justice are worth fighting for. Marlon Brando's career experienced a significant resurgence in the 1970s after a period of decline. His performances in The Godfather and Last Tango in Paris earned him high praise and restored his status as a leading actor. His earning power was evident when he secured a then-record salary for his role in Superman. Despite playing the younger sibling on screen, Brando was actually older than his co-star Rod Steiger. His achievements were recognized with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, a testament to his skill and popularity as an actor. At the age of 30, Marlon Brando set a record as the youngest Best Actor Oscar winner, a distinction he held for over two decades until Richard Dreyfuss claimed the title. Adrian Brody later broke this record, winning at 29. Brando's influence extended beyond the screen. Before his passing, he authorized eGames to use his voice in the Godfather video game. His interest in historical phenomena was evident when he and Tony Kay invested in footage of the Angel of Mons, a World War I legend. They acquired a film purportedly from a trunk owned by William Doidge, a veteran who claimed to have captured images of angelic apparitions. Although plans for a film featuring Brando were initiated, they ultimately did not materialize. In her first film role, Eva Marie Saint delivered a performance that earned her the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Her portrayal left a lasting impression and set the stage for a successful acting career. Lee J. Cobb's work in this film, along with his roles in three other significant films, led to their preservation in the National Film Registry for their importance in cinema history. Additionally, the birth of Eva Marie Saint's son Daryl was announced in a major publication, marking a personal milestone during this period. A memorable line delivered by Marlon Brando's character stands out as one of the most quoted in film history, reflecting a poignant moment of self-realization and lost potential. This line secured its place as the third most iconic quote according to the American Film Institute. Meanwhile, the role of the protagonist brother, which significantly impacted the film's dynamic, was almost played by another actor. However, due to financial disagreements, the part was ultimately portrayed by Rod Steiger, earning him an Academy Award nomination. The film also subtly references historical boxing regulations to convey the protagonist's inner turmoil, drawing a parallel between the structured world of sports and the chaotic nature of the character's life. Marlon Brando, known for his powerful acting, once left the production of a French film due to disagreements with the director. His departure from the red and the black highlighted his strong-willed nature. In another instance, Carl Malden recognized talent in Dick York upon a chance encounter. Malden's intuition led him to cast York in tea and sympathy, a decision that proved fruitful. Meanwhile, Pat Hingle's skillful performance in Cat on a Hot Tin Roof earned him critical acclaim, culminating in a Drama Log Award for Outstanding Performance in 1983. These events showcase the dynamic and unpredictable nature of the acting industry where decisions and recognitions can have lasting effects on careers. Marlon Brando's life off-screen was as eventful as his on-screen performances. After filming in Tahiti, he was so charmed by the island's beauty that he bought Tesharoa Atoll in 1966. 
There he envisioned an eco-friendly hotel, which materialized as the Brando, offering 30 luxury villas and becoming the sole resort on the atoll. Brando's autograph became a collector's item to the extent that people kept his signed checks as keepsakes rather than cashing them. His openness about personal experiences was also notable. He spoke candidly about his same-sex encounters in his biography, stating he wasn't ashamed, reflecting his honesty and openness about his life. Eva Marie Saint's career includes roles in two Oscar-nominated films, one of which secured the Best Picture Award. Carl Malden, known for his acting prowess, developed a lasting friendship with Michael Douglas beyond their work on a popular television series. Marlon Brando, a celebrated actor, delivered performances in two films that won the Best Picture Oscar, showcasing his significant talent in the film industry. In the shifting landscape of Hollywood casting, Rod Steiger secured the role of Victor Komarovsky in Dr. Zhivago after Marlon Brando and James Mason passed on the opportunity. Steiger's portrayal came to be after Brando did not respond to the part, and Mason withdrew, leading to a performance that avoided overshadowing the central love story. Meanwhile, Brando himself turned down the role of the Sundance Kid in Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid to pursue a project aligned with his interests in social issues, choosing Byrne, over a film he felt was inconsequential in the wake of Dr. Martin Luther King's assassination. This decision reflected his preference for films that addressed significant themes. Aliyah Kazan, known for his critical eye, initially hesitated to work with Daryl F. Zanuck due to creative differences on a previous project. However, their paths crossed again, leading Kazan to collaborate with independent producer Sam Spiegel, setting the stage for a film that would focus on the lives of ordinary longshoremen, a subject Zanuck had doubted would resonate with audiences. In the early stages of his career, Marlon Brando faced uncertainty about his future, only finding his path when he moved to New York in the 1940s. His talent later led to a significant offer from Paramount to star as Jay Gatsby in 1974, which he declined due to the studio not meeting his salary request of $4 million. Meanwhile, Eva Marie Saint achieved a rare feat by winning the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for a film that also secured the Best Picture Award, joining an exclusive group of only 13 actresses who have done so. Her performance in this critically acclaimed film remains a highlight of her career. Marlon Brando, known for his powerful screen presence, had a firm belief in leaving a character behind after portraying it. This principle led him to decline substantial offers to reprise his roles in sequels to two major films, despite the promise of a hefty paycheck. His career began on stage in 1944, marking the start of a distinguished journey in acting. A memorable moment during the filming of a classic involved an accidental drop of a glove by co-star Eva Marie Saint, which Brando seamlessly incorporated into the scene, showcasing his ability to embody the essence of his characters with spontaneity and authenticity. The director, recognizing the natural chemistry this brought to the scene, made the decision to include this unscripted moment in the final cut. 